Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So it's another day to do some um, mixed media Now I'm going to use my um, art journal today So I'm, I have a few little bits and pieces here that I thought I found this little um, girl sitting on this trunk um, and I just think that's a really, really lovely picture. So I thought I'd use that as the focal point today. Um, I've just got some other bits and pieces here. Not that I'm going to use all of them, but I've got a few bits. I've got a few bits of um, tissue paper that I did some little um, patterns on. And I've got some bits. I've got an envelope there. I don't know why I've got an envelope, but I do. And I've got these little bits and pieces. I've already gessoed the back. Um, so that's all nice and gesso so I'm going to add a little bit of ink on there I think or a little bit of paint I've got a few bits of my distress oxides on here um, and again I've got my inks as well acrylic inks and I've got my water color my aqua colors which are lovely so I'm going to do a little bit of color I'm going to leave that on there so it just doesn't go blurry for a minute um, so I'm going to see, I'm not sure, I think I'm going to go with the um, tea dye. Um, just add a little bit. Shall I spray it? Shall I make a nice big mess today? Am I in shot first? Yes, let's just, I don't need um, a huge amount of it, I don't think. But we just need to put a little bit of a, a background colour on here, don't we? Not that it needs sort of like the middle bit. What colour should we go for? Let's go for this one. This is a brushed corduroy. Let's just do one page at a time, I think. Oops. I think I might just give a little spray. There we go. I do like using these little cards to... Um, push the colour around I think it looks really nice gives it that lovely texture doesn't it right let's pop those over there and we shall do this side let's add a bit of the same sort of colour just so we've got the same colour palette going on a little bit not that I really need anything in the middle because I want to um, pop the pictures in a minute oh gosh that was a big mess gosh so yes I'm going to um, pop the pictures in the middle I think so I don't know why I sprayed it there I should spray it really in the corner shouldn't I there you go there we go perfect I'm going to I'm going to pop a little bit of gesso over the top of that I like the way this is going in together. Loving those colours. Actually, that's got the water on it, hasn't it? Let's just add a little bit of water. And I'm just going to quickly dry that in a minute. I'm loving this texture. Where I've got the gesso underneath and you've got the water and the ink, it gives you a really, really lovely sort of texture to it. I love it because it almost it looks like the um, like the frescoes doesn't it in Italy I think it looks beautiful got that lovely sort of plaster sort of feel to it now I'm not sure what to do with this middle bit Put that one there. see if I can go in just pop a little bit of gesso on here. Okay, let's quickly dry that again.
Okay, I'm loving the colour of this background. Now I've got four sort of larger pieces here, which I might just stick on as they are. Let's see, what's that one underneath? See, they're really lovely colours. I do like this one. I was just thinking of something sort of like that. And then we've got the little girl on here, sort of like looking up, which is quite nice, isn't it? That's nice. I do like that. But I think I'm going to pop a few sort of like little splatters on there first. So I would like a little bit of the white. So just so it's on the background. Let's just pop a little bit of the white ink on there. Let's get a little brush. Just like that and just, just do a little bit of the background first. Put that to the side. Just where we're not going to cover it up. Lovely, let's give that a quick dry. Okay, so I believe that's a pushy dry. So let's just stick. I think I might just sort of like stick one on at a time. That one I quite like in sort of like the middle bit. So I'm going to stick this one on first. I've got some matte medium on here. So let's just go over the paper. It's quite a big piece. I've printed these off onto um, just some 80 um, GSM paper. So it's just real sort of like printer paper. Because I want it, I like it quite thin when you're doing the collage. It's a lot better, isn't it? Just got to make sure it doesn't um, go all funny because it's an not a it's an inkjet printer I've got so and they tend to sort of like smudge don't they so what do you think that's stuck down shall I use one of my other cards wherever it is Perfect. Now what I would like to do is just go around it a little bit before I stick the others on, just with a little bit of shadow around it first, I think. Oops. Let's take my water brush. Oops, look, I'm taking all that paper off, that's okay. Lovely. Now, I was going to put this one on. Which one shall I do? Shall I put this one? like that so this one needs to go down doesn't it let's pop this one on oops there we go I love the color of this background that's really lovely Really nice background. Okay, should we go around the outside of this? I might use a bit of what's this one? Is this the black or is it yeah. just go around with a little bit of darker I think?
lovely let's do a little bit of black this side okay lovely should we stick this down onto here should have had that a little bit higher but that's okay should we stick that there I think so now this one I haven't put any music paper on the back which is a surprise I thought I would leave it out this week I normally like to just pop some music paper on there just to give it a background but not today let's just make sure that goes right in the middle there I do with watering this down it's a bit thick the uh, matte medium today feels quite thick I do like that. I'll just pop that one up there. I need a little bit of more of this. There we go. Right up there in the corner. Perfect. Okay, so that's a nice background, isn't it? Let's just hope that's going to be able to fold in the middle. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's just pop a little bit of shadow in here and just along here. always go over this again oops that's a nice thing with collage if you don't like what you've done you can always go over it Lovely, should we put a little bit oops upside down? There we go. That's it. Right, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more gesso on here. Just to blend these in. Just a little bit. she can just come in and sit there I think and I'm going to have a few more bits on the background now this is just some tissue paper that I did and I just did some sort of like um, circles on it just a little bit of um, 
doodling. A little bit of doodling on here. Oh, I didn't cut that very well, did it? So let's just pop a little bit more glue. I used um, a Posca pen on here, um, which is nice, which is sort of like a creamy colour. One. Oops. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We just have a little bit down here. Here we go. That's a lovely background, isn't it? Now I've got these lovely um, little sort of colour charts. I think that one will probably work better, won't it? I might add a little bit of this as well. Let's just tear that bit down. Should I do two or one? Might be quite nice in little sets of three. It'd be easier to do it the other way, wouldn't it? And that's okay, let's do this one. Perfect. Right, this little lady is going to go down there. I do like these going across. Take you off for a minute. This little bit, put that up there. Okay, that looks good. Right, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the um, raw umber. Let's just move this over, not too far. There we go, just so you can see my little palette on here. Pop a little bit in there. Going to sort of water it down a little bit. There we go. Just sort of just go a little bit darker because she's going to be on here like that. So I just want this to just be a little bit darker down here in sections. I do like this background. That's very nice. Let's just get a little bit. Have I got any gesso on there? There we go. Put it on, cover it up. That's all the fun of it, isn't it? And that gives you your lovely textures underneath and your layers of 
of um, collage and everything. I think it looks really, really lovely when you do that. A little bit more up here, I think. I feel like having a nice play and adding lots of bits and pieces to this one so let me just quickly dry that now I'm gonna go in with this is the grey no not the grey but the green now this is more um, like I've used before but it's more of a blue really than a green um, but I just want to add a little bit of colour into here just a little bit of um, I've watered it down a bit too much, we shall see. Just a little bit and then I might go in, oh look at that, just with the blue paint sample ones on here. lovely colour. Let's pop a little bit up here. Take a little bit more gesso. Let me just come down this way a little bit. Take a little bit off. Because these, oopsie daisy, these are those paint ones. So shall I just pop some of these down? It's just, oops. That wasn't very really good. I might just cut it. Where's my scissors? Let's just cut them off. I love those, that's lovely. Right, I'm just going to quickly um, just dry that a little bit again. Lovely. Let's go over that top bit with a little bit of gesso. It's a bit too blue, I think. Let me just flip that again. Where's my little? Let's just. What's this? A bit more gesso on there. Pull 
pull this down. Lovely. Okay, let me just... I do like this blue or this green. That's really nice. Now I'm going to take let's see I've got this little bit here so I want to add a little bit more collage I think I think I'm gonna just pop that on here Lovely. Put that down and I'm going to put this just over the top. So we've got lots and lots going on in here. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I do like this. Right, where's our little lady? She can go on there, but I think I might put a bit of a background now I've got this envelope which I think she might I'm not sure I've got these bits that I did earlier I think she needs like a little backgroundy bit I think a little bit more just to sort of frame it You can go in on here. Let's take another piece. Just stick. Which I'm not too worried if it doesn't stick all the way down. I'm quite liking that. So how big is she? So that will go on there. If I have this piece. What I would like is a little bit of paper. Now these are what I was using to make my ice cream thingy majiggies that I was making, my paper clips. So they can go on here. a little bit darker now I've got my big bag of bits and pieces here so let's just see what we've got I could do with a little sort of like scruffier dark bit or something a bit hmm, it's a bit too pale isn't it oh actually this is some grungy paper that I had Use a little bit of this just to bring these to make it a bit more framey. Oh, 
Well, can you tell I'm in a bit of a mood to stick things down today? Let's just go on here. Lovely. And she can just sit on the top. So you need to come down a little bit. I don't like you on there. Too high up. There we are. Perfect. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just sort of grunge up the edges because I don't want them to be flat. So I'm just going to scrunch this up a little bit. Stick her down. Don't really want to paint over the top of her because she will go, um, these will probably smudgy bits. So let's just stick her down like that. Perfect. Touch it with a little bit of the ink. Oops. There we go. Love it. Scratch it down. Oops. Well, I must say, I didn't have this planned. But I do like that. That looks really nice. Let me just have a look. I think she looks really nice. I'll do some close-ups off of this at the end because you've got some really nice texture in here. Um, I'm not sure whether you can actually see that. Let's pop this. Give myself a little bit more room. a little bit just a little bit darker over here I think just so that we can um, balance it a little bit Okay, nice and messy today. Look at that. Love it. So what else can we add into here? Let's have a look. What shall we do? I could do with a little bit more. Actually, maybe I'll go around it with a little bit of my... I think this is the one. You could just sort of like add to these like around... Carry those on. There we go. A few more up here, just to give it an added sort of texture on there. And then where's my this is the lovely big Posca pen which is sort of like the creamy colour beige it's called beige uh, 
it's a really nice colour. It's not so harsh as white. So. What these would look like and dots on here in the beige tots. That might look quite nice, wouldn't it? Just a little bit of texture going on. Whoops, I just stuck my arm in the gesso. doesn't it let's pop. let's pop a few down this side maybe we should come from the top there we go look like little stars Which I'm going to go in with. Where's my other bigger Posca one? go back in here with a few of the white dots because I do like the white dots going through it. I did have a word or a saying somewhere. I always forget to put them on now. Okay, loving this. I think this looks really, really nice. Now I'm going to go in. Oops, let's use the brush. You can see just down. Use up the rest of the ink that I've got there. It's a little bit of the, the green in there as well. not bad not bad so you can tell I really wanted to um, put lots of bits and pieces on here now I've got this one it says take your time so I think that's quite a nice saying isn't it so whatever you do just take your time doing it I'm going to put it up there that's where I'm going to put it right there just like that perfect now I'm going to leave it like that I think because um, I really like it I had lots of fun doing that one so that was lovely so there we go guys I'm going to leave it like that so thank you so so much for joining me um, nice lots of bits and pieces going on in here and again a really sort of like mixed media isn't it as we know because we've got paper and ink and paint and Posca pens 
all sorts of bits going on so thank you so much for joining me please take care stay safe and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye